science And he loves to play with fire And the things he'll do You can do If you so desire To try this at home with Mr. T Hello, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. I'm Mr. G, and today we're going to do a really shocking experiment. I hope you liked my new theme song at the beginning. What we're going to do is we're going to take an ordinary AC adapter. This is an AC adapter that you're not going to want to use again. Something that, to a tape recorder that's broken or something of that nature. This came from an old, cord, or an old um, yeah, cordless phone. This goes from 120 volts when you plug it into the wall down to the other end here. 9 volts. Plugs into like the tape recorders or whatever. I already pre-broke mine because that was one of the hardest parts. I broke it open. There was a circuit board I broke off. And what we're looking for in here is this transformer. This transformer has the two AC plugs here. The other end has two other posts that have wires that lead up into the transformer. Now what a transformer normally does is takes alternating current AC and reduces it down to a lower alternating current. But we're going to make this transformer work in reverse. We also need some kind of a metal file. We need some alligator clips, five of them to be exact, some alligator leads, a 9 volt battery, and maybe a pair of cutters if you need to cut the transformer out of the old AC adapter. What we're going to do is we're going to take our transformer here. Well, actually, we're going to start with our 9 volt battery. We're going to take two of the leads and we're going to hook them up to the 9 volt battery. I'll take the red one and the white one here. Next, I'm going to take one of those two leads, doesn't matter which one, and I'm going to hook it up to one side of my metal file here. We're going to do this so that we can use the other end to, um, to cause AC current or pulsed DC current because a 9 volt battery won't make alternating current, it's direct current. Then we're going to take the end of the transformer that wasn't hooked to the wall socket, not this end, but this end. And we're going to take the two leads on there. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to lay it this way on the table so you can see. I'm going to take one alligator clip from the 9 volt battery and it goes to one side of that. Now, let's take another lead. Let's make this lead the black lead. I'm going to position this so it works better for me. And I'm going to take this black lead and I'm going to hook it to the other side of this transformer where the two little leads are, away from where it plugged into the wall socket. Now, let's take two more leads and let's hook them up to where the transformer did plug into the wall socket. We'll go with black and green this time. Now, I also bought this little neon lamp assembly from Radio Shack. It normally takes, as you can read here hopefully, 120 volts to light this thing up, this little guy right here. Okay? But we're going to light it up with a whole lot less voltage to start with, a 9 volt battery to be exact. Hooked again to our file, the other end hooked to the transformer, a black lead hooked to this transformer, and we're going to brush this lead against the file. Okay? That makes pulse DC current. Now, if we took this neon 120 volt bulb and plugged it right into a wall socket, it would light up. Because that's 120 volts AC coming out of the wall. It'll shock the daylights out of you too. This is a very shocking experiment also. See our little light here? I've taken the other alligator clips that go down here to the wall socket side of the transformer. I've hooked it up to our little light. Now, 9 volt battery. You think that's going to light this? It will if we brush. Can you see that? See thing lighting up there? Look at that. Isn't that amazing to get closer? Look at that thing blinking. And see I just tap it and it'll still blink like that. What we've done is we've created pulse DC current coming from our 9 volt battery through our file here. Put it into what used to be the secondary of the transformer, the, the step down side. And we're putting it in there and stepping up the voltage using this transformer to light the 120 volt light. Now, I told you this was a shocking experiment, so here comes the shocking part. I take the light off. I'm going to lay these, this alligator clip down here. I'm going to put my finger. Can you see these wires here, like this? These two alligator clips? Well, they don't want to cooperate. They're really I'm going to lay my finger across the alligator clips like this, okay? Now, I've got to be careful here. Okay. Now that my finger's across, I'm going to brush this on here. 
like this. Oh boy, that didn't feel too good. Ah. You're gonna get shocked. Let's try it one more time. But it's a safe shock. It can really be painful at times too, coming from this little nine volt battery. But it's completely safe and harmless because there's no real current here. And this transformer here steps up the voltage but down the current. So, again, 9 volt battery, little transformer that comes out of any old broken tape recorder, AC adapter, a file, some alligator clips, and we have made 120 volts out of a 9 volt battery. Exciting. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. G, and remember, do try this at home.